Well, hello, Libra. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. If you are new, hello, I am Yasmin. If you have not already, please like and subscribe. Libra, we're going to go ahead and get started with your reading. We are going to start off with some money cards. Some of these money cards are going to be dealing with your relationship as, as well. So the advice here could go both ways. So let's go ahead and let us flip the deck. Let's see what's going to come out here for you, Libra. Split the, the deck. Comfort zone. Comfort zone. Fear and uncertainty prevent you from breaking out of your comfort zone. This could be with relationships as well. Some of you guys may have fear of failure. Comfort zone. Hmm. I mean, basically looking at this, this is just letting me know that for some of you, it says step into the unknown and do something that you've never done before. I mean, this could be something that you guys are already considering to do. And I feel like you're right on the edge of doing something different. I feel like this has something to do with relationships, even though I know that this is a money card. I really do believe that this has something to do with relationships. I don't know why. With that particular card, that's what I'm getting. But let's go ahead. Let's see what you guys need to know with your money. I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle out this is for libra some of you are just comfortable oh inauthenticity ignoring who you truly are to please other people is hurting you here follow your desires and align with your life purpose and trust in, in your truest self and it will lead to long-term satisfaction you're not being authentic some of you guys are being phony, living phony lives, smiling when you're really not happy. Oh, that was deep. I didn't expect that, Libra. Some of you have resentment and envy. Resentment and envy could be draining your energy and it can make you feel like a victim. You could be resenting other people or resenting your partner if you're in a relationship envious of what you don't have in relationships or what you don't have as far as your money turn jealousy into inspiration value and embrace your unique path hmm. now this could be someone else who is envious of you as well i gotta i gotta say that because y'all be coming for me in the comment section this, this this is what came out okay i'm just telling you there could be some resentment of someone though that you're around you could be resenting somebody for whatever reason Maybe because you feel like you can't be yourself. Pessimistic attitude. You're seeing only the problem and you feel like you can't change things. Become more aware of the trap that you could be creating, the language that you are telling to yourself in your head. It says, think about all the possibilities that can come from if you think, if you think broader. So some of you guys are like, nothing is ever going to change. Hmm, let's get the last card here for Libra. It's all about what you're telling yourself. I love the future card, though. Now, a lot of you may have a lot going on. Let's talk about that first before we get to the really good card. You could have a lot going on, a lot of different responsibilities and chores and family, family responsibilities, work responsibilities, just whatever. Doing too much or doing too many things can delay your happiness. It is inevitable that when you try to tackle too many things, it becomes a burden and it slows you down. So it says one thing at a time, prioritize is going to be prioritization or prioritizing is going to be something that you guys need to focus on. And when you do, all is going to start to flow here. It says you're going to become, you're truly open for success and the universe is going to support you. Okay. So I do see that things are going to start flowing for you very soon. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Now, we're going to go ahead and use this deck as well. This is going to be for relationships and money. So let's see. Money is going to start flowing to you. And I just feel in general, your attitude is going to improve. This is going to be for Libra. Some of you guys are shopping a little bit too much. This is how you guys are coping with some stressors. Libra. 
Mm, yeah, there is something destined for you here with destiny. Believe in your own dreams. New adventures are going to start opening up for you. Definitely. Okay. Let's keep going. Be aware of people. Beware of people who, are, who will try to take advantage of you. And these most likely are people who are closest to you, though, because there's been a lot of unstable energy, unstable with your money and unstable with your feelings. I'm just going to tell you. There's been change that maybe you weren't prepared for or that you're still not prepared for, but there is change coming. This is for Libra. Yeah, a lot of you have been settling. Very frustrated with life right now. Some of you guys feel there's something better coming, but for a lot of you, some of you guys are overwhelmed. You're overwhelmed. Very unsatisfying energy. The destiny card is things are going to change because it's meant to change. Maybe this, this is the universe coming in, helping you out. Okay. Yeah. For a lot of you, this is really good. I see a new job coming up for you guys, a new job, some type of money matter where it's going to improve for you. Okay. And this is also letting me know that you guys are willing to work on whatever in order to get what you want in order to celebrate. Again, that's the, that's the ending card, celebration and all is flowing. This is going to happen even in relationships. You're going to work on your relationship, whether it's a new one or an old one. And then you're going to be able to accomplish what you desire and what you want. OK, this is what I'm saying, because you're going to start working on it, focusing on your finances and, and your relationships. Let's go ahead. We're going to pull from the top here. This is going to be for Libra. This is for Libra. OK. Libra, nine of wands. Yeah, tired. You've been tested. A lot of you really have been. Oh, yeah. Maybe choices that you've made. You, you now are at this place. You hate that you made certain choices that are causing a lot of issues and problems. Hmm. Nine of wands. Some of you moved too quickly. It was very, I don't know, some of you guys have moved too quickly in something. Maybe with a lover, you guys moved too fast with someone. There was this, there's this impulsive energy that I'm seeing here, Libra. Very impulsive. You didn't think about something before you leaped. This could be in money matters and in relationships. Two of Cups is in an upright. So I do see that there is a relationship here, a connection here. I feel like there's been some disruptions, but I feel like these could turn out better for you. Yeah, six, look at it, six of pentacles in an upright position. This talks about investing, return on investment. So I do see that you're going to actually get something that you want here when it comes down to love and money. You've been through a lot though with that nine of wands, okay? You've been persevering a lot of, a lot of shit. But I do see that there's going to be some of you guys are dealing with someone that's younger than you. Um, but I do see that, you know, there is someone here that you're going to really draw close to and that you're going to end up. Um, I don't know. This could end up where you guys may move in together in the future. Let's go ahead. Let's get the six of wands here in the upright position for Libra. Yeah, Ace of Wands, you move too fast, move too quickly. That's what I see. A lot of desires, unmet, unmet desires, unfortunately. Some of you guys, there was a lack of direction, lack of discipline. And then now, and then you faced opposition in some kind of way you didn't expect. Okay. You didn't expect something to happen. That could be where the resentment is coming from. Let's get the nine, of, let's get the Knight of Wands. I see a lot of sex here. <laughs> Knight of Wands. Someone is very selfish, very greedy. Now, this is an upright position. I do see you getting what you want, but whoever you were dealing with wanted to be free. It was all about their pleasure and their desire. And this is sitting in your position, Libra. This could have been you. You may have been out there in them streets. Something that you're wanting, though, okay? Something or someone that you're wanting. Maybe someone is ignoring you. 
right now. Let's see. You got a really good card here with the two of cups, though. That means you guys have to make a decision about who it is that you want. Yeah, the chariot. The chariot talks about change. That you will be experiencing change. <clears throat> Some of you guys are going to end up single, get coming out of a relationship. Okay. And there's going to be a relationship that you could be going into because I, I feel like there could be some secrets that will be exposed here. Let's get the Six of Pentacles for Libra. The Devil. Ooh. Someone is dependent, could be dependent on the other person financially. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I do feel like there's an ending here because the Death card did come out. Somebody will be moving on, even though that someone is dependent on someone else. There's someone taking advantage of another person based off of what they're giving. It's not real. Okay, it's like someone is hanging around because of what they can get from somebody. Whether it's sex, money, whatever. Yeah, things have not been fair and balanced. Here with the Justice card. This is why it's, there's a transformation needed. Change needs to occur. Remember, we saw change. Yeah, change needs to happen. Because a lot of you guys have been frustrated and selling, settling in relationships that you know is not really giving at all. You know that. Mm, yeah, there's no clarity coming in here. There's been a lot of arguments and, and chaos. And, and it could still end up being that way because there's going to be some ending. That's part of the change, right? But overall, I see a, a good outcome with the Sun card. We keep seeing all is flowing. So things are going to get better for you, whether you know it or not. We actually see celebration. Okay, mental health is going to be good. Health is going to get better. So this is what I'm saying. Vitality, celebration, success. Okay, money even getting better for you as well. So this is what I just part, just hang in there. OK, <laughs> but this is what I have for you here at Libra. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. And again, if you are new, please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell and I'll see you guys back here again soon. Bye, guys.